Alexander. He was like my brother. We, uh, I met him when I was 16 and he was 18. He was black, I was white. This is back in the 50s. And that didn't go over too well in one of the places. We were like brothers, and that's the way it was. And we um, kept digging and kept learning about the music and kept writing. And it took about three years before well, he, he cut a hit. He had the first hit to come out of Muscle Shoals area, and it was called You Better Move On. So then things just kept building for him. The Beatles got one of his songs, and the Stones got one of his songs. So anyway, uh, dear, dear friend, one of my best friends of all time. Anyway, we wrote this. This was the last song I wrote with me and uh, Arthur and Dan Penn wrote this. And it's on a new album, and it and uh, it got the album itself got a really great review in Rolling Stone. They really gave it a nice review. The next week, which was two weeks ago, uh, they said this song I'm about to do, do for you was voted uh, one of the top, one of the 10 best songs of the week. From, uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And, and to say that. And, uh, it's called, it's the last song we wrote. It's called I'd Do It All Over Again. I'd Do It Over Again. Yeah. 